I'm Maria Menunos, and you're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Hey guys, welcome back to the Film Reunion Part 2 After Show. I'm your host, Shay Jones, and I am here with not only my amazing co-host, but a very special guest. To my left, we have Mr. Cameron J. Wright. Hey, everyone. You might recognize him as Mozzie on the show. And to his left, I have the very lovely, amazing, talented Regina Coles. She also knows the writer and creator of Family Reunion. How are you feeling? Yeah, feeling good. Mozzie's in the house. <laughs> Cameron, welcome. Thank you. I'm really excited to be here. Well, we're going to get and jump into this episode, and then we're obviously going to talk more to Cameron about his time on set. And, you know, some little sneak and treeks. I'm going to try to see what I can get out of him, see if he can tell us <laughs> things, okay? It, I just have to, so at least I'm warning people in, in advance. So today's title of the episode is Remember G Club. Now, Jade finally decides to join Glee Club, and her style is definitely different. Mm -hmm. uh, Lot. Then G Club mm -hmm. um, show tunes. Mm -hmm. She sang very well. I appreciated it. <laughs> you didn't. I mean, Michaela didn't have to shade her so well. Mm. <laughs> but you know, it was very. It was definitely a different style. And then her trying to be soulful. Well, yeah. it was a try. Well, she was doing more like a musical theater kind of. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's like, definitely. you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, like the show book. Uh, that's going back, but you know what I'm saying, music theater. But uh, she got there. She got there eventually, yes, yeah. especially because they told her she had come back when she could sound more soulful. Mm -hmm. And so she goes to Madeir to try to learn from Madeir because Madeir, come on, the one of the original dream girls. Yeah, <laughs> like, amazing. If you want to talk about soul, let's talk about one of the original dream girls. I life. love that song, uh, Eye on the Sparrow, she was doing. Yes. Oh, but yeah, Loretta Devine, who plays Madeir, y'all. Plays Madeir. <laughs> she is definitely... Uh, an amazing singer. And yeah. she proves it. She every sings. Day. She sings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Though I love when Jade walked in. She said, "You put, you had stank on." She was like, "It is stank until you got here." That's a very <laughs> generational verbiage. Like yeah. they just got crossed and they didn't mix it all. Mm -hmm. But it was funny, and mm -hmm. because she doesn't understand it, she's also just like, "Oh, you gonna talk about me? Okay." Yeah. No, we're not gonna do that here today. <laughs> right. <laughs> but when Madeira tries to help Jade. She said, like, you know, maybe you should just try volleyball. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's a, that's like that's great too. Volleyball is like a great sport. Push her off into a sport that she thinks she might be a little more talented at. Huh? Instead of <laughs> soulful singing. 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 So in other words, she did not get the family she the, the genes for singing, as far as Madeira was concerned at that <laughs> point, were not handed down to Jade. I mean. That's debatable. Yeah. And we'll get, well, you know, we're going to get there because mm -hmm. she, Royal, you know, introduces her to, like, finding her own voice. Yes. And what that looks like. Because he takes her poem, mm -hmm. and first of all, that performance she did was amazing. Mm -hmm. The lyrics was epic, and mm -hmm. his rapping in between, it just fit so perfectly. Mm -hmm. But that was soulful. Like, soulful means different things to different people. It doesn't have to be always super loud or just super uh, super deep, as in some of the girls, or trying to like do your run, just trying to prove a point? I think the beauty of uh, any talent for anyone is to be uh, original Definitely. and have your own uniqueness. And um, just because you might not sing like an Aretha Franklin, doesn't mean that you aren't a great singer because great singers come in all shapes and sizes and types of voices. As long as I think uh, you embody emotion in a song and people can grab hold to that emotion and the message you're trying to convey through that interpretation, your interpretation, you know, I think that's what the beauty of it all is. I grew up in Detroit with Motown, so it was real competitive. I mean, it yeah. has to be. Mm -hmm. But I, like you said, I love what you said about every voice is different. I think that's also yeah. the beauty of music. Mm -hmm. Nobody, Alicia Keys doesn't sound like Lauryn Hill, and Lauryn Hill doesn't sound like Jill Scott. All three are very soulful in different ways. Yeah. 
so I think I think that's also what I love so much about the episode is also highlighting that fact. And I love Jade's friend Genevieve, Miss UK, mm. because she throws the best shade. And I am here for like that type of friend in my life. She's like, this daytime, like, shouldn't she be in a coffin somewhere? Well, <laughs> is she really from England? No, that's I, just an accent. I she's knew really, like it has to be really an accent, talented with the accent. Right? Mm-hmm. It had to, I like, she's it very talented. Spot on. I'm like, who are you training with? She who really can I learn is. from? Yeah, she's like really into like a spot of tea. Or, it's very, it's a very posh yeah. accent, which mm-hmm. I because and I love that. Like, there's very, there's definitely different dialects of the English dialect in and of itself. Right. But hers is very spot on. If you were just talking to her in her British accent, you wouldn't think she was American. exactly. It's it's really good. It's really cool. And yeah. what's her name? Her name's Naomi. Her that's her real. That's name. her real name. But yeah. in the show, her name is oh. Genevieve. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I love that aspect. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, the best friends are just like, okay, so let's talk about you two. Like, <laughs> and they're both kind of just like, uh, I got things to do. Maybe I got to meet my mom, you know, <laughs> type situation. And I thought that was very cute and very a real moment of we don't know what we are. We just did something great. We don't know what that is. Maybe we'll find it. Hopefully. We'll see. Don't, you know, don't rush us. We're not ready there yet. <laughs> but who's also trying to rush and procrastinate? Is Mr. Mozzie in this episode? I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, Dear's wanna... not here, so you're good. You're good. Yeah. Like, she's going to shred your money. You're good. Um, so <laughs> Mozzie waits to the last minute to do, do mm-hmm. his robotics project. And, you know, Moe's and Coco are just like, you know, let's just for go date night and house hunting because Mozzie wants to get procrastinating. You're just like, really? And they're just like. No, you're, no, no. So you're gonna find this out. You're gonna learn. This is a lesson, <laughs> a life lesson you need to learn. If you procrastinate, and you, I'm like, I think that was a great lesson for them as parents to be like, I'm not gonna help you with this. One, because you waited a whole month. <laughs> <laughs> you waited a whole month to tell me this information. I, that, and Ami's just being helpful with the dip, like the tips. She's like, I'm just spilling everything. There is no secrets anymore. You waited a month. That <laughs> seems to be true though. <laughs> like, sorry, a month. Boys, I think my son was like that. He'd come to us, like, at the last minute, you know, 6 o'clock in the evening, and it'd be like, oh, I've got to have a science project due tomorrow for the science fair. We're like, what? (laughs) And the funny thing is I watched that episode for the first time with my grandparents, (laughs) and they were like, that's you. (laughs) (laughs) They're calling me out. Uh, I'd like to say not anymore. I I will admit I did used to do that, like, a lot, all the time. I feel like I've grown out of it just a little bit, but mm. I think it, it's maybe still happening a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> so you you uh, hear Mo say that, you know, Medea used to help him. So mm-hmm. you, you know, swindle her into helping you because she loves to win. Yes. And she loves a good trophy. Yes. However, you let her do all the all work. All the work. <laughs> you're, and you're just like, maybe you should write down the directions of how it works, too. Mm. Sir. You didn't do that to your grandparents now. <laughs> uh, Mom, no. He did you did he do, do that, that to you? <laughs> no. Mom's in the studio. And I'm she's like, like, oh. I, don't, I don't think I took it to that extent. <laughs> but, but, I mean, what happened was. What happened was. Uh, whew. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what Mozzie was thinking. Oh. He was oh, like, really? all right. Uh. So go ahead, ride down the steps. <laughs> oh, you want me to do the ride down the steps? Oh, you, oh, you want me to? Oh, go you want me to go get the the pen. pencil and the paper? Yeah. <laughs> like that sounds like so much work. I know, I was being a little lazy, a <laughs> la- little lazy about it, but it's okay. And then you get on the phone with Grayson, <laughs> and you know you're just chilling, relaxing, like you the Fresh Prince for a second, right. <laughs> and having a whole conversation how you tricking my dear, but you know she hears you on the other line because mm-hmm. it's a la- it's like she has the landline type phone. So the landline's connected to different parts of the house. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she's like, okay. So we, you think that's how it's going to work? Okay, cool. <laughs> but, I mean, granted, what she said during the project I love, she said, if you are invested and you believe in your project, put your own money behind mm-hmm. it because nobody else is going to believe in it as much as you will. Oh, yeah. So I, I love that lesson before mm-hmm. she kind of destroyed your money, all $47. <laughs> That you had, that you and had I unfortunately name. believed in the project too, and then look where that got me. Yeah, right. But <laughs> anyway. I know because um, I've been on the set to see you guys tape. That Loretta Divine is a hoot. She is mm-hmm. so much fun. She's amazing on the set. 
Yeah, she's really funny just to be she around. She is. She is very funny. And, but it's it's a great, like, family type of atmosphere there because, like, Tia's got her kids there and her husband, Corey, and, you know, mm-hmm. it's a big family. Oh, yeah. So how does it feel for you being a part of that? Oh, it's it's really amazing. They, um, like, Loretta, Tia, Richard, Anthony, they teach, they teach us, us kids so much, and it's so amazing just to get to work with them and get to learn from them. So it's really great. That's, that's wonderful. Now, before we get into your interview section, I'm just going to, you know, end cap the episode because I thought it was very cute and, like, smooth and royale. Just like he, you know, him and Jay kiss, had their first kiss, and the way he did it was very smooth. And we don't know where that relationship takes us off after this episode, but I was impressed with that gentleman caller move that he made. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take it old school, gentleman caller. Mm. Um, and that's how we ended the episode, but now mm-hmm. we're going to get into Mr. Cameron here. <laughs> how does it feel being a part of this Netflix show, and then when you found out you guys got renewed for season two, Yay. what was your like, first reaction and, like, what did you do right after you heard the news? Uh, uh, it's just really amazing just getting to be a part of this. And when I heard the news for season two, I was, like, I was really nervous. I was like, oh, please, please, please. And then <laughs> we got um, all of us cast. We got a group FaceTime call from Meg Deloach, who mm-hmm. is our show creator. And she was like, cheers to part two, uh, ah, to season two. And we were like, right. oh, my gosh, just so excited. And I was like. Right. I was like, wow. I was just really, really excited. Mm-hmm. It was just, I'm really blessed just to be part of this this show and everything. I'm blessed with everyone that I get to work with. I'm just really happy, yeah. That's wonderful. <laughs> I love that. And so you said that you and Mozzie shared some traits. Oh, yes. In this episode, are you how similar and do you guys differ from your characters? Oh, okay. Me and Mozzie are like, we're really similar. We're very similar. Oh, wow. <laughs> we're very similar. Um, we're both... We both love music, so that's a good thing. Oh um, yeah, Mozzie is really <laughs> curious, but the, I think the thing that I that I don't relate with Mozzie is Mozzie has Shaka, who them two like they're like oh. a dynamic duo. They're always just getting into like just a little stuff, just a little stuff. And I feel like that's just like one of the main differences is that Mozzie and Shaka just together they're just mischievous, pretty much. <laughs> I know I'm still can't give you guys selling the engagement ring. I still got issues with y'all oh. that one. <laughs> really a pawn shop you thought that was a pawn shop move. I thought that was a good idea I thought that was a great idea at the time <laughs> but unfortunately it didn't work out well well and it did work out at the end but like True. Yeah. at the moment it was just all bad it was all bad <laughs> just like and, uh, and you traded your wings uh, you gave up your food on oh, my wings uh, my wings mm. my wings <laughs> but it was really funny lo- looking back on that episode with Shaka deciding to tr- to trade the ring and just the audience going, oh no! It just you can hear the audience in the background. Mm-hmm. I'm like, that's just really funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got it. You know, we were talking earlier, and um, the beauty too of the show is that Meg uh, really has uh, allowed you guys to really expand your talent on the show. And so, being from Detroit, I learned that you were part of the Motown. Uh, musical yes and you were in detroit for two weeks yes and so tell our audience who you uh played well i played young barry gordon young stevie wonder and young michael jackson so it was a a really cool experience it was a nine-month tour and we were all around the united states and we went to canada one time so it was just really fun it was a really great experience so you're already an international traveler yeah (laughs) at such a young age and quite a singer i understand (laughs) <laughs> Quite a, I mean, come on, Mozzie and the Miracles. I'm not getting over that. Spot. First of all, I'm not giving over that name. That name is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I feel coach. like it's such like a it was such a like a Motown name to mm-hmm. like put on you guys for this show. Oh yes, that episode was so much fun. It was really fun. And when I when we first received the script for that episode, and I read it, and I was like, oh my gosh, I get to sing in an episode. So I was really excited. It was really great. So uh, do we get a little quick sample here? I mean, I mean, sure, if you y'all can. Oh, oh, there you are right there. Oh, <laughs> oh that's so cute. You're so cute. That's so cute. <laughs> All right, Ryan is on the case. Great. Our producer but, uh, is killing oh, it with the yeah, photos. Yeah, so, okay, we're listening. All right. <laughs> I'll do a little something, okay. How do I say goodbye to a... We had the good times that made us laugh away the bad. Oh, I thought we'd get 
to see forever, <laughs> but forever's gone away. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. Nay. Okay. Oh my God. voice crack at the end, but that's cute for you. Know, they, you know what? You know, you saw the Grammys. They did that for Kobe. Oh, yes, yes. You could have been right up there with them. Oh, that thank was you. beautiful. Thank honey. you. I'm like, I was like, yes. I'm going to put my phone into a flashlight and just I'm like, like oh, yes. Thank you. yes. You definitely, oh. You are definitely uh, multi-talented. Thank you. you I appreciate you got it. A, Thank you. A bright future ahead. Thank Don't you. Don't forget me and Shay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll still be here giving you guys all the family reunion you can stand. But unfortunately, we have to wrap it up. Mr. Cameron, you want to tell people where they can find you on all social media platforms? Uh, you guys can find me on Instagram at the Cameron J. Wright. So make sure you guys go follow me so you can stay tuned for more updates from Family Reunion. Also, make sure to stay tuned for After Buzz TV just for... All the talk about family reunion, and Aww. I love being here. I was really, it was really fun. Thank you, Miss Regina. Oh, can people well, we, find you? I think we're gonna keep him. I think he'll get. Yeah, yeah. Can we keep him for a while? Can he be our he's mascot. Like, really, you know, promoting the show and all. <laughs> hey, you can find me at After Bu- Oh my God! <laughs> at Instagram, Regina Coles, and on Twitter, guys. <laughs> you guys can find me at Real Shay Jones on Twitter and Instagram, and Disney News Weekly on Popcorn Talk. We'll see you guys the next Halloween after show. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to After Buzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.